this demonstration, we will be covering the replacement parts for the Model C1 pressure operated relief valve. The replacement parts offered for the Model C1 PORV can be found in Viking's replacement parts book or on the technical data sheet. The most current information can be found on the replacement parts book or technical data sheet on our website. The C1 PORV has a maintenance kit available for replacement parts. The replacement parts that are included in the maintenance kit are the diaphragm assembly, the seal ring, the spring, the Schrader valve assembly, the screws, the diaphragm, and the clapper spring. The parts that are available individually for replacement are the seat, the seal ring, the spring, the Schrader valve assembly, the screws, the diaphragm, and the clapper spring. Before working on the C1 PORV, refer to the appropriate data sheet for placing the system out of service and remove the C1 PORV from the trim. To disassemble the C1 PORV, you will want to unscrew the end cover and the base from the cover and the body. Now with the end cover and the base separated from the cover and the body, you can remove the spring from the PORV. You now will also be able to see the Schrader valve assembly. To remove the Schrader valve assembly, you can now unscrew it from the cover. To remove the diaphragm from the C1 PORV, you will need to remove the screws to separate the end cover from the base. With each of the screws now removed, the end cover can be separated from the base and the diaphragm can now be removed. To remove any of the other parts from the C1 PORV, the cover will need to be separated from the body. You can do this by removing the screws from the cover. With each of the screws now removed, the cover can be separated from the body. This will allow for the removal of the clapper spring, the seal ring, and the diaphragm assembly. The last part that can be removed from the C1 PORV, if required, is the seat. To remove the seat, unscrew it from the body.
To start installing the new parts into the C1 PORB, first you will need to install the new seat into the body. With the new seat installed, you can now install the diaphragm assembly the seal ring and the clapper spring onto the body. The cover can now be reinstalled back onto the body. Line up the holes and install the screws. With the cover reinstalled onto the body, the new Schrader valve assembly can now be installed into the cover. We can now install the diaphragm onto the base. With the diaphragm now installed onto the base, the end cover can be reinstalled onto the base by lining up the holes and installing the screws. The spring can now be installed onto the Schrader valve assembly. With the spring now installed on the Schrader valve assembly, the end cover and base can be reinstalled onto the cover and the body. This concludes our repair parts demonstration for the Model C1 pressure operated relief valve.